that character because um, it was an addition to the movie that is really personal to me. I'm Taiwanese American. I grew up in a household with three generations. My grandparents, um, my sister and I, and my parents all in one, one house. And so I was able to pull a lot from my experiences and fuel them into this character that Willow played. Hi everyone, I'm Ho Chi with TaiwaneseAmerican.org. I'm super excited to introduce a friend of mine, Marilyn Fu, who's the screenwriter of a new film called The Sisterhood of Night. Now, it tells a story of three young ladies in a small town in New York who basically start a little secret society. Now, gossip starts and people start to wonder what's going on. The questions arise of whether they're doing something wrong, is there something suspicious happening, and so a whole film ensues. Um, I've only seen the trailer, but it's super exciting. Thank Marilyn Fu, so glad to see you. I'm glad you're Good here. Good to see you too. Um, so tell me a little bit about this film. Like what inspired you? What, how did this project come about? Well, the film is based on a short story, also called The Sisterhood of Night, by Stephen Milhauser, who you might know from some of the other stuff he's written. He's an amazing writer and actually has a cameo in the film. Oh, cool. So after you see the film, you have to tell me if you can if you found him in the film. <laughs> um, but I based it on that short story, and um, it's only a, it's a beautiful tale, about ten pages long. It really dives, I think, into the inner lives of teenage girls. And the fun part for me was mining my own teenage years for interesting stuff to put into this film. Yeah, and you also created a character specifically who's Taiwanese American. I wasn't part of uh, Stephen's original short story, but uh, tell us about that, uh, about including that storyline. That's right. It was just a very natural thing for me to do. I think that I was looking for. Um, I was looking for someone who, growing up, looked like me and felt like me and experienced the world through my eyes. And really, all the girls are me, <laughs> but this character in particular, you know, I have a really um, soft place in my heart for her because I um, was just able to um, really explore some new things with her. Some things that I think um, reflect my own life, but reflect how diverse and multicultural um, our society really is now. Yeah. And I think that's really important to see in uh, casting these days for, for movies, films, TV. Um, so I'm really happy you did that. But uh, tell us a little bit about this cast you, you brought together because they they are an amazing. Yeah, talented, I love our cast. Talented crowd. So <laughs> tell us about characters to cast. Sure. Well, we've got um, Georgie Henley who plays the character of Mary Warren. Mary is the leader of the whole sisterhood. Uh, to get in the sisterhood, she has to give the okay. So she's kind of the whole. She's at the whole front of the, the thing. I'm excited to see her. Georgie was. Uh, she is known for her role in Chronicles of Narnia when she was a little younger. That's right. That's right. And now she's really grown up. She's really developed into an amazing young woman. And to see her take on this role and take on some modern teenage values, I think, is really interesting. Cool. We'll see how we guess. So we also have Kara Hayward, who you last saw in Moonrise Kingdom, a uh, Wes Anderson film. She plays the girl who accuses Mary and the other sisterhood girls of doing deviant things in the woods. Uh, I love her character because she represents that girl you see on the street who's always on her phone, who's always blogging and posting something, and she can't look up from her phone to cross the street. We so that's Emily. Like that. <laughs> we're, we're right. I see those people and I'm like, you're going to get hit by a car, don't do that. I think it's me too, actually. Right. Well, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so then um, Olivia Dijon, she's a really great Australian actress. Um, she plays Lavinia Hall, and you'll see her coming up next in M. Night Shyamalan's film um, that I think is releasing later this year. So she also, a phenomenal actress, brings a real sensitivity to the role. Her role, um, Lavinia is a, is a dreamer, and um, you'll see in the film that um, She's a dreamer and she is the character that goes through, I think, what a lot of girls and boys may be going through today uh, related to cyberbullying. So through her character we got to explore um, some of the harder, edgier issues that I think are also in, in teenage life, along with the fun things, along with the celebration of life and friendships. But we all know that there's some tougher things that teens are going through now too.
You also have Willa, who plays Tony Smirk here. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about her and how you found her. Yes, well, Willa Cuthrell, honestly, the moment we all saw her audition tape, I think I watched it one time. Everyone watched it one time, and we fell in love with her right away. She just, you know, I, I've written that character, I think, as someone with a lot of grace, um, someone who was Mary's best friend, someone who, um, he is a quieter power, but what Willa brought was edginess, um, a little volatility, and I think you'll see in the film that there's something about her, because her character is going through a lot with her family, there's something about her that's right on the edge, and I think that teenagers will really relate to that as well. Yeah. And I'm excited to see how you create a three-dimensional character out of her, including basically three generations of this tiny smart family in the storyline, so uh, I'm excited to see how that happens. Yes, in fact, um, let me tell you a little bit about the family. So, um, playing um, uh, Catherine Hong's father is Louis Ozawa Chang Chien. We know him. He's uh, He did Predators. Yes. And he's half Chinese, half Japanese. But, exactly. Uh, so he's really cool. Exactly. He really helped me, I think, bring more dimension to that character. Uh, I think he made my writing stronger and brought that character alive. So. And you have uh, little Hudson Yang, who many of you know from uh, uh, the new TV show Fresh Off the Boat. Yes. He makes his, one of his first acting debuts here in a small role, right? Yes, Hudson has so much spunk. We could see that from the moment he walked into the room to audition. We knew he was going to bring something really unique, and, um, and he did, and he did. The last person I want to talk about, too, in Catherine's family is David Chen, who plays Gong Gong. And this character was modeled completely after my own grandfather, who, um, you know, he lived with us for a while in my childhood. He never had anything he needed to do, but he would get up every morning and put on his belt and his, you know, his button-down shirt. And he was always waiting there for me when I came home from school, just like he is for Catherine. He sees her off to school, he's there for her, and they have a silent communication and a silent bond that's really strong. That and David's also Taiwanese, which is so sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a little chills for you to talk about grandparents. And I think that's a wonderful tribute to really our grandparents and our parents' generation for the struggles that they went through and really creating these opportunities here for us in America. So. But anyways, you're, you're doing such great work, Marilyn. It's so wonderful talking to you. I wish <laughs> you the you. best of luck on your uh, uh, future screenings. Uh, the film opens nationwide in April. April 10th. Uh, April 10th, so be sure to support the film, The Sisterhood of Night. Um, thank you for following us at timeinsmarine.org, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.